Hello and welcome to One More Pen. Today I'm talking about the Lamy LX, and this is the RU version, or Ruthenium, which um, I had to look it up. Apparently is a rare metal, but that's fine. It makes sense. This is the luxury version of the Lamy Safari, and um, I recently got all of this one. I got it at more than 50% discount. I don't know why it was on discount, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with this pen. I, I would not have paid full price for it. To be honest, I think it's a little bit overpriced. When, you know, and it's interesting, when you look at the Safari, I think the normal Safari is already a little bit overpriced compared to some other pens um, in that, you know, beginner uh, segment of the market. Um, not heavily overpriced, but I do think it's a little bit for a plastic pen. I think it's a little bit, mm, they are, um, you know, and then you have the Safari and then what you do is you get the All Star, which is the um, aluminium version of the pen and the price goes up a little bit. And then you get the luxury version and it's only a few tiny things that they tweak on the pen every time, um, but it ups the price. and. Um, the way that we think is that, well, you know, this is, this is better than the previous one, so it makes sense that it will be more expensive, and of course that's the plan. But, you know, when you take a step back and you take this one that is now the luxury version, and you compare it not just to the entry-level Safari, but to other entry-level pens, like for example, yes, the Pilot Metropolitan, the difference is not that big. This is a metal pen, the Pilot Metropolitan's metal pen. There's nothing so special about this pen that warrants the price tag on it. So when I got it at half price, I was very happy to get it. Um, this is a great pen, don't get me wrong, and I'll, I'll, we'll take a closer look at it, I'll show you. This is a great pen, I, I love this pen, um, and Spoiler alert, I would, I would recommend this pen to anyone. It's, uh, it's, I'm using it on a daily basis. And so, I'll, 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 you know, we'll, we'll take a closer look. I'll tell you more about it. But it's definitely worth having this pen. I'm just not sure if it's worth paying what they actually cost. I think it's overpriced. Having said that, you know, when is something too expensive? It really depends on the person who wants it, right? What is the pen worth? It's worth what you are prepared to pay for it. And... I think a lot of people are prepared to pay what this pen costs. I think it also depends on where you find yourself in the world with exchange rates and things like that. Um, I'm based in South Africa and our exchange rate against the dollar is not great. So um, this is quite expensive over here, I would say for, for this kind of pen, I think it's a bit pricey. But that's not the only thing that's important. Um, ultimately, it doesn't matter what a pen costs, the writing experience has to match up it has to make it worth it and does the writing experience with this pen ultimately justify the price tag we'll take a closer look and we'll talk about that if you like my videos my content please like and subscribe i always appreciate your support um, please don't hesitate to comment uh, i also like reading um, your views in the in the, in the, in the comment section and um, i like that kind of interaction so all right, let's head over to the table and we'll take a closer look at this one. We are taking a closer look at the Lamy LX, Lamy Safari LX. And it came in this really lovely container. It is um, the same color as the pen. And this is rubber at the center. And when you open it up, it seals really well and you have the pen inside and before I take a closer look at the pen I just want to show you this on the inside it's got these rubber um, little parts in there and what it does it keeps the pen really secure and whether I think this is a really lovely travel case actually if you're traveling because it seals so well so you could really just pop any pen in there and you get a tight seal and if it should well it shouldn't leak but if it should leak that ink's not going anywhere 
that's just lovely i just i just love this it's practical it's so much better than some of the other boxes that pins come in this is this is practical and this is going to be used over and over again so that's really cool all right let's have a closer look at the pin this the the shape of the pin it's very lamy safari like you already know so let me put the, that over here i have the safari um my old safari the violet blackberry and i have the all-star as well so here we have all four of them oh and the vista so that's quite a family of pins so the alex is very similar in shape to the others as you can see and i'll com be comparing it mainly to the all star the lx is the luxury version of the safari now comparing it to the all star both are aluminium versions or aluminum whichever makes you happy um, and on the outside they are basically identical except for the color when we look at the finial however we see the first main difference same finial except now it is metal and the same at the bottom this is metal and the first thing that does it adds a little bit of weight to this pin which is noticeable it's not a lot but it's just enough to be noticed and i think it ends up giving the pin some really nice balance so i think you know this is a nice touch it really works so Lomi Safari LX for luxury and then RU for ruthenium which is uh, some kind of rare metal that I don't know anything else about but you know for me it's just this is a nice color and I think it's a color that goes with many different inks which is why I got it that and of course it was on special barrel is the very much the same as the um, the all-star smoky black transparent uh, so very similar the nib that it came with is a, a black nib like the one i have over here slightly different um, it has a an extra line uh, on the nib which i can't show you right now because that nibs on another pen but i'm um, very similar to the black nib i put the stub nib on here because um, i really enjoy the stub nib but with a black nib it looks really nice i think what i need to do is just get a black stub nib and that will work well and so i'll put the the all-star aside because essentially from here on it is the same thing the same pin barrel and screws converter at the back uh, nothing new uh, nothing you haven't seen before we have the ink window which is always very nice uh, very useful to have and uh, the nice thing with the nibs of course is that they are so easily um, interchangeable you just take a little bit of sticky tape stick it over there and you can pull off the nib and exchange them like that very quick uh, less than a minute to do and it works well this pin has a little bit of a nicer click to the to the cap than the safari uh, not that that really makes a difference that much but anyway so uh, that's a closer look at the pin i think it's time for us to do a writing sample for the writing sample i'll be using my rodeo dot pad as usual it's just really good paper and i keep on using this pad because it provides me with a consistent uh, way to compare the writing on my pens uh, i can't even remember what ink i have in here but anyway we'll see so let's uh, let's find out this is the lamy safari LX 
Alex. Ruthenium. With a 1.1 stub nib. And now that I see it, I remember what ink I have in here. This is Dimine. Macassar. And it is a deep brown ink. So there you can see a little bit more of the color. This is a very nice saturated ink. It's it's very wet. It's very um, very smooth. It feels very lubricated, and I think the nib is also. This is a very nice uh, stop nib, and when you put everything together, the the feel of the pen, um, the ink, the paper, it all goes together very nicely. All right, let's do some more writing. Very nice writing experience, very smooth. Um, uh, it's just a combination of the paper, the nib, the ink. Um, I think the, the color as well for me goes very nice with this, uh, with the color of the pen. All in all, is it worth it? Because the, you know, the Alex is a little bit more expensive than the other versions. It is more than double the price of the Safari. Now, um, I mentioned this before, if you take the Safari and then you have the All-Star, you get a bump in the price and you move from the All-Star to the LX. And really, what is the difference between the All-Star and the LX? I don't know, is, is it just the metal finials? Is that worth a bump in price? You know, if you look at it that way, I think it's easy to argue that this pen is overpriced, which is how I felt about it as well but then when you take a step back and you look at this pen and you compare it to the Safari uh, even though they look similar it is no longer the same pen the, the differences add up to more than just the tiny incremental little things that they changed the metal body the aluminium body makes a difference the slight increase in the width of the barrel makes a difference and then adding metal um, to the top and the bottom of the, of the pen or adding metal to the the finial on the cap and the finial on the barrel does add that extra little weight it, this is a much more premium pen you feel it and it is in the writing experience um, and that's where it really matters like I said before ultimately it's about what is this pen worth to you in terms of the writing experience? I think it's worth it. Um, I would never buy this pen or I would never have bought this pen um, at its normal price. If I didn't get a discount on it, I wouldn't have taken it. But now that I have it, do I think it's worth the price? I think it, it can be. I think it very well can be. If, if you... Also consider that the nibs are interchangeable, that you can change out the sections. Then you just have an endless, um, endless options in terms of what this pen can be. So this is not only the pen that you have, it is a potential pen. And the more of these you have, the more fun you can have. And um, it just adds up to more than I think what you pay for. Um, at the start so those are my thoughts 
this is currently my my the pen that I use on a daily basis and it's just such a fun pen to use I just really enjoy it um, I would recommend getting one of these if you don't have one already and if you do let me know how much you enjoy the spin. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Keep well everyone.